What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Anthony Riley, Ohio Cannabis Live. As promised, the Wax and the Facts video has finally arrived. Briefly tonight, we're going to discuss a device that is a state-approved device, which is called a PAX-3. The PAX-3 device is sold. Oh, I'm sorry, folks. I have my microphone off. You should be able to hear me on my Ohio Cannabis Live channel. So if you weren't hearing me, I'll start over. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the PAX-3, which is a vaporizer device for dry herb vaporization, or now you can also use it for wax vaporization. This is a state approved device. Um, this is the box for the device. This is sold at some of the dispensaries, Terracena Columbus and Terracena Springfield specifically do sell this device and also the Ohio Cannabis Company in Coshocton also sells this device. It currently costs $250 for the complete kit, which does include the adapter you need to be able to do uh, the wax vaporization. So um, here's the box that it comes in. I'm gonna get up a little bit close so you can see it on both of my cameras here. Um, and uh, you can see, um, basically, it's it's a pretty small device. Um, when you get this box, everything you need kind of comes inside the box in a nice little thing. Your, de your device is on this side here, which obviously it's here right here, guys. And I'll show you in a second. And then you open this up and you get all these little things here, cleaning kit and extra mouthpieces and things like that you'll need, which we'll get into later. But this will not be a really long video, guys, because it's getting late. And uh, like I said before, I have surgery tomorrow morning and I won't be able to talk. So I wanna make sure I did this video before all that happened. Um, so this is my PAX-3. Um, currently it's in like a protective case, but they come in uh, black, gold, and teal in most cases, um, but I wanted it to be blue because that's my favorite color. So you can buy these protective cases on Amazon for um, like 10 bucks. So uh, they're very cheap. Now, the way the PAX-3 basically works is on the top part, you have a mouthpiece and they have a couple different mouthpieces you can get for it. I'm gonna give you a close up on that mouthpiece here on this screen. And up here for you guys on my other camera here. I have two cameras running. We're, we're actually broadcasting live on Ohio uh, Medical Marijuana Group's page as well. So we're broadcasting on two different channels at the same time. I didn't get to do all my special effects like I wanted to. Um, still having some little technical setbacks here, but at least I'm able to do this video with you guys. So um, anyway, today we're going to do some wax with the PAX-3. So I'm going to show you exactly how that works. As I was saying before, the mouthpiece up here is also the power button. On the bottom of the device is a chamber that you put the material in. I'm not sure exactly how good you can see it. I'm gonna try to put a little bit more light on it for you, but I'm gonna get as close as I can so you can see inside of there. Now, you normally, if you were just doing dry herb, you would put your flower in there and you would put the cap on the bottom and you would just press this button and you'd be ready to go. But if you're gonna do wax, you have to have a separate piece which is this piece here. And it's basically like a little chamber and you put the, the concentrate inside the chamber. And for you guys up here on the other one, sorry, I'm reaching up, you just see my shirt, but I'm showing the folks on the other camera up close so they can see it as well. It's, um, it's pretty small. And what happens is you insert this in the bottom, just like so, and you're ready to go. I love it. Um, this device only takes 30 seconds to get ready. We're not gonna fire it up just yet because once it gets fired up, it, it does get warm. Now you can control the temperature on the PAX-3 with your phone. That'll be a whole separate video. We talk about all the other really cool things it does. Today, we're gonna look at two different products available in Ohio dispensaries. Just a little disclaimer, I don't work for these guys. Again, I don't get anything from this. This is stuff that I paid for with my own money. It's in my name, so I, that's just my disclaimer for you guys. But um, this is, I think, Will, I always mess up their name, sorry. Will Springfields, it's wordy. They they do a pretty good job on their product. I think everybody that's been purchasing this product kind of agrees with me. These guys know how to make concentrate wax. And there's a couple different things available right now in Ohio. We have wax, which is just basically, um, it could be a crumble or it could be just like a, a waxy substance. But then we also have something called live resin. So what I have here in front of me today is live resin and wax. Now I'm gonna let you look at those up close. The packages are the same, 
but the products are different. Okay, and also just for those people that are technical about weight and everything, uh, we found out that the wax, this is the Harbor Coat wax, you get a gram of this, and but if you get the live resin, <laughs> it's less than a gram, folks. It's actually, this one says, uh, it says dose 6.7. We know that means nothing. The total weight, 880 milligrams. Uh, I don't know if you can see that or not. But anyway, you believe me. It's crazy. So I don't know why they do that. Give me my whole gram or give me a half gram. Don't give me these weird numbers, folks. It makes no sense even in common sense. There is no sense in this, okay? But anyway, moving along. So uh, I don't know. I think the best thing for you guys, for me to do first for you guys, would be to show you um, the product is new on the market. A lot of people haven't seen it yet. And that's going to be this live resin. And so, if you have, if you're not familiar with this at all, this is how the wax comes when you go to the dispensaries. A couple of dispensaries do currently have a couple of different flavors. The one I have in my hand right now is called Weekend and Merry Soul. Um, I believe that the flower may be available by some of the growers as well. But um, I went ahead and tried this. I did pick this up. If you want to know where it was? Uh, Spring Springfield Terracena is the one that had this particular product. The uh, wax was purchased at the Terracena. Uh, in uh, Columbus. That doesn't mean that they're the only ones that have wax. Other dispensaries also are carrying wax. So when you get your wax on it, it comes in this nice little glass jar. Let me get you a close up on it. And again, for my people on my other camera here, it's above me. <laughs> I wish I could have them on the same level, but this is how it worked out to get a good angle. So I'm a little bit closer for you. And, um, you know, basically, let me show you what it looks like. Uh, you can smell. I wish you could smell it through the, <laughs> through the camera, but it's it's kind of like a, a peanut butter type substance for those up here at top. You know, it, it it's it's a weird looking substance, but basically this is just refined uh, concentrate from your cannabis, and this is what we call strain specific concentrate, meaning that it was specifically uh, made from these strains. That's my doggy barking in the background. But, uh, yeah, so, you know, yeah, sorry about that, folks. But, uh, yeah, so this right here, um, this Wellsprings uh, Live Resin is basically a new product that just came out a few weeks ago. But the wax has been around in Ohio for about maybe two or three months. So... You know, a lot of people are already familiar with that product if you have already tried it. But today we're mainly focusing in on you being able to purchase this product, this Pax 3 device, and it's a state approved device, and you can actually do your wax in this device. You don't have to go out and get, you know, big bong and rig and blowtorch and all these other things people do. I mean, if that's your thing, I ain't knocking it. <laughs> but for us folks that are a little bit older and don't want to choke our head off, we want something to hit smooth. And this is the reason why I'm doing this video. So for those folks out there that are tired of hitting things that don't hit smooth, or hurt your throat, break after a couple days, battery don't stay charged, product don't have a warranty, this device solves all those problems. First of all, the PAX device is sold in dispensaries and sold in other smoke shops too. Um, comes with a 10 year replacement warranty. Should you have any technical issues with your device, you were able to send it back to PAX, the corporation that makes a device, and receive a replacement device free of charge for 10 years. I don't think there's any other product. Most of them are one year, six months, three months, maybe three years uh, for extended warranty. But not, not none of them that I'm aware of are going to give you a full 10-year warranty and replace it without asking a bunch of crazy questions. I just don't see it happening. Um, another thing about the patch device is you can get a lot of different uh, accessories for it on Amazon.com. And it's relatively inexpensive. Yes, it's a $250 investment, but folks, if you're tired of, I'm sorry, I'm going to just say it, rolling up, which you shouldn't be doing anyway because it's not what the state approved, but whatever you do in your house is your business. But if you want something that's going to be healthier and smoother and cleaner and safer and better on your lungs and better on your throat, Get yourself a dryer or vaporizer, but the reason I recommend this particular 
vaporizer is because you can easily do the wax or the flower. So without further ado, without wasting any more of your time tonight, I'm going to go ahead and load this pack three up so you guys can see it in action and see what kind of smoke comes out of this thing. Okay, so we're going to do the live resin first. And so what we do is we open it up. There's a little, there's a little hole up here you can see. And I'm going to take this off with my dab stick. This is a dab stick for those that are new to dab. And you, you, if you're doing concentrate, you need to have a dab stick. They can be bought at any smoke shop. I ain't naming no names. But you take, the, you take this off. And, you know, now you can see inside what I, I call it the little uh, tin. You can see I'm getting close. You can see in there, for those up here on the top camera, you can kind of see it a little bit. So my camera's out of focusing. So... You know, what we do now is we take our concentrate, and this is where the word dab comes into play. All you're going to do is take out a small bit of this concentrate. I'm going to show you how much a small bit is. And this is it. This little tiny bit, <laughs> for all those folks wondering what a dab looks like up close, this is it. It looks weird. Yes, it does. All right. And you take that, and all you're doing here. Folks, it is dropping it in there like that. Just like that. It's in there and it's done. It's in there and so you're ready to go. Well, you want to put your cap on. The cap prevents the concentrate from splashing around underneath your device. Because when you heat up a concentrate, it becomes an oil. Just like the oil you see in those 518 dank cartridges that are being recalled from everywhere. Just like that. And so, you know, the difference between a concentrate and getting a, a 518 cartridge is most of your concentrates are filled with what they call a distillate. It's another form of concentrate oil that is a lot thinner than concentrate. You get the word concentrate, okay? Oil concentrate. Concentrate is going to be thick substance. You're going to need a lot of heat to melt that concentrate. The oil that you see in the 518, 510 cartridge. It's just real easy to heat up with a little battery and you're vaporizing. However, as you have seen, um, those things are cut with all kinds of pesticides and flavors and all kinds of other nonsense. And, uh, you know, unless you're getting a cartridge from a dispensary, it's just not a good idea. So I'm going to leave the cartridge thing alone because we'll do that a whole nother video, folks. So, all right. What we're going to go ahead and do now is we're going to go ahead and load the uh, Pax 3 up. So now all I do, I'm going to do that closer so you guys can see what I did. Now here it's ready to go. I'm sliding it in the, in the bottom here. It's all magnetic, so it's not going to fall out. Nothing's going to spill or anything like that. And the device is still off. Now what I do now, to turn it on, is I press the top of it here. And now the device is on, and you can see a little light coming on. Those were up here on the secondary camera. You can see that as well. This is also flashing little pretty colors. It's so pretty, isn't it? It's like a little disco. So what happens after 30 seconds, the light will turn green. And so while I'm talking, it's warming up. Now having the extra sleeve around it actually kind of helps dissipate some of the heat because the device does warm up. I'll be honest with you, you hold something in your hand is 420. It's, it really gets 420 degrees. Now with the PAX 3, you have the ability to control that temperature with an application on your phone, whether you have an iPhone or an Android phone, you're able to use uh, that to control. So now I'm green light. As you can see, I'm ready. Everybody, we're ready to do it, Dad. Here we go. Yeah. Now notice it was smooth. I'm not about to cough my lungs out. I can still talk to you. And believe it or not, you can still hit it again as many times as you want. It's vapor. So there's no combustion, there's no fire. So that's not gonna be hard on your throat. When you when you smoke something like a blunt or a joint or a pipe, you're lighting it with a lighter, which has butane in it. As you light that, and as you hit that, you are sucking those chemicals through your cannabis and basically destroying anything in your cannabis most of the time. I mean, yeah, you can get high smoking a blunt or a joint, but there's chemicals involved that you don't really need in your body. With this device, it's electronic. All we're working with right now 
it's heat and a hole in the middle of here. So what I'm gonna do is, it's still on, and I can take this cap off. This is the mouthpiece. And you can see down in there, there's just a little hole in there. I don't know if you might not be able to see it because it's dark, but there's a little hole in there. And that's it. There's not, it's not a whole lot to this device. And I, I know another guy on here on our group has di dissected it. It's just really a battery and a, uh, a heater in there. It's a real simple device. So there's really no myth to it. So if you want to get to a cleaner process of, of vaporization and you don't want to deal with chemicals, because I still don't want to deal with chemicals, you know, I'm just going to tell you a personal story. You know, they, they found a spot on my voice box. And, you know, I'm like, what you mean? They're like, yeah, it's a spot on your voice box. It could be from smoking. I used to smoke cigarettes, but I quit. You know, but it also could be from smoking, you know, out of a paper, out of a joint or anything. It could be from a lot of things. But the way that, you know, they look at it, you know, you're higher risk for these type of throat injuries if you're smoking. I mean, when I say smoking, I mean lighting up, combustion. Vaporization is just vapor. It goes away. It's a lot easier on you. And you get a lot more effect from the product, folks. Now, when you do your vaporization and it is, you're done, when it has it's time for it to cool off. So there's usually about, I, I say about a five minute cooling period in between dabs because you can do a low temp dab and that can also, um, you know, make it a little bit different for you. Because sometimes you don't need to turn it all the way up. And that's the best thing about this device is if it's hitting too hard for you folks, you can actually turn it down. You know what I mean? And that that's another really great feature about the device is being able to control the temperature of that. Now, it's, it's off now. That's another thing. Let's say I'm just sitting here running my mouth and I forget to turn the device off. Well, the device will turn itself off. And when you're just holding your hand and it's turned on, guess what? It's not wasting your material, folks. It actually is so intuitive that it actually stops burning the stuff or warming the stuff um, when you're not hitting it. So when you hit this thing and it draws, that's when it's working. And so in that essence, if you're, whether you're hitting flour or whether you're hitting wax, the device knows to stop burning. Up. Well, not, I'd say burning. I mean vaporization in your material when you are actually not using the device. So that saves your material. Um, when you load flour in here, most people smoke a 0.5 or... I don't know what you load in your in your in your device, whatever you're using, whatever your method is. But with this device, you can put a 0.3 in here and share it with your friends. And they're like, what is this? Is it, this is better than smoking a blunt. It smokes just as good as hitting a pipe of blunt. And you can even get an adapter from Amazon and put this thing on your rig, on your pipe, on your bong, doesn't matter what device you have, it has interchangeable adapters to make it fit on any pipe. So you can still get that pipe feel. And if you really got to smoke a pipe, man, why use a lighter? Why not stick a vaporizer on there and use it? It's still the same thing. It's just more healthier and cleaner. And it saves you money. I mean, if you want to save money, I want to save money. And I mean, here's another great thing about these devices, folks. Since it doesn't actually burn the material, with the flour, you can actually take the flour out of the device and reuse it again. And then you will be able to actually, you know, be able to do, you know, whatever you want with it. You can make edibles with that, or you can make some kind of other, recycle it any way you want. Or you can throw it away, but it still has some TAC in it. it you know, depending on how much you vaporize it. I mean, unless, you t unless you're testing it yourself, you really don't know if it's still all TAC has gone in or not. So in that aspect, it does give you an opportunity to save and recycle your flour. If you just smoke it in a joint or something, it's gone, right? <laughs> Imagine being able to use your product twice. That's what this device allows you to do. So now we've done the uh, live resin. Now we're gonna do the wax, the Harbor Coat, which a lot of people, me personally, I think the Harbor Coat was a really good product. Now, when you take this thing out, even though I've let it sit for a little bit, it's still kind of hot. So you always wanna be careful when you pull it away from here, but I always make sure that I have my dab stick here because then I can just stick it in there and that allows me not to touch anything. That way I don't burn myself. So now we're gonna do Harbor Coat. And you gotta love these bags, folks. I think these bags are terrible. I, I, I hope I hope uh, Wellsprings is watching. I love y'all's products, but your bags got to go. Just like Standard Wellness too, y'all bags gotta go. And uh, Bullseye Farms, Gardens or whatever, your bags need to go to. But anyway, 
we're going to do this Harbor Code before we go tonight. And I appreciate all the support from everybody in the group and all the views and everything. That's definitely important. But I hope this, my videos are helping you guys get relief from your problems. Uh, with this crumble, let me, I didn't show it to you, my bad. The crumble is kind of like crumbles. And this is a wax. And, uh, you know, this is a little bit less than a gram. I mean, this stuff lasts a long time. That's another reason why I recommend it. Because, you know, it's, it, it lasts forever. You're always just chiseling away at a little bit of it. You don't need a big bunch. You don't need a humongous amount of wax to do a dab. You just need enough to get the thing going. And, you know, like I said, you load it the same way I did before. And the best part is, your wait time in, each, in, in between dosage, 30 seconds. Doesn't matter what. In 30 seconds or less, but usually 30 seconds, the device is ready to go. And so we reloaded it. We're going to go ahead and do our last dab of the night with the PAX-3. And again, I think, you know, I can't personally let you try this one because I don't know you. But if you can find a friend or somebody that owns one of these devices, I would strongly recommend trying it with a friend first that already owns one. That way you can get the actual full experience. Because, yeah, I'm doing a video about it and everything. But what sold me and made me get up the next day and go buy one is I had somebody bring one over and let me try it. And it was even an old PAX 2. And I was like, I'm so, I got to have one of these things. All right, so we're waiting on it to warm up. So we've got a little bit more time, about 10 seconds or so. Oh, there we go. Green light, folks. Now we're going to do this wax here. I don't know how that looks on camera for you guys, but it's pretty, pretty vapory in here. Some people said they felt like they were sitting one of those uh, oil cartridges. I don't know if it does it that, but I tell you what, doesn't choke you. You're not all hurting your throat and stuff. So that, that's the whole point. Now, see, I put it down. I forgot to turn it off. It will turn itself off, folks. But even if you don't, it's got, it's got a safety and it's off. And another thing is, you put it in your pocket. It's not going to actually turn on, folks, because the way the button is made, it's inside the device. You have to push hard on that. Not real hard, but you have to put some little bit of pressure on it. And unless it was just smashed down in your pocket like this, it's not likely you're going to turn it on. They don't have the power button. And then once it's on, you don't have to keep pressing any buttons like a lot of these other gizmos. You got to keep pressing the button for 30 seconds and 15 seconds and all that crap. No, once it's on, it's on. And when you're done, it's done. All right. So, again, I really appreciate everybody tuning in tonight for this video those that didn't get to watch it live will see it on the replay we will also be uploading it to youtube with all the full production values that you know didn't make it you know like i said with technical issues with the internet and everything uh facebook and their little crap you know we couldn't get our production values in, in time for this video but uh when i put up the new video with youtube you will see the full production value with all the little bells and whistles and the intro and the music and everything else and uh again i thank everybody for your support and uh, like I said, I, I will still be posting on social media. I just won't be talking. So, you know, feel free to still reach out to me if you have any questions or anything like that. Um, like I said, <laughs> I don't work for PAX, but uh, I think that they're a good company so far, so good. And everybody else I know that owns one is really happy. So, yeah, uh, thank you again for your support. Everybody, you have a good night. God bless. Thanks for watching our live video. Peace.